वेलकम बैक गाइस अनदर वीडियो इन द डॉकर सीरीज सो लास्ट वीडियो वी कवर्ड अबाउट डिप्लॉय ओनली स्टैंड अलोन एप्लीकेशन इन साइड अवर डॉकर कंटेनर यूजिंग ए डब्ल्यू एस लाइक ई सी टू नॉट दिस इज वीडियो टू गेट डिप्लॉय डॉकर डिप्लॉय स्प्रिंग बूट वेब ऐप यूजिंग थीम लिप I have already prepared that uh, web application which is available in my GitHub repository. I will share the GitHub repository in the video description, so you can get it and use this. There, I have also prepared uh, Docker images. As uh, last video, we covered image parts in this sections. I think so. This one, okay. So if you know if you. If you are not watching, if didn't watch the last video, please go and watch this video where I have deployed all these things, okay, manually, and all the points and notes I am share with you, okay, like that we prepare how to deploy, how to create a machine, and how to interactive mode. Now let's see today is our uh, deploy our web application Spring Boot lab. so don't waste our time and go inside our repository if i can show you inside the repository search that repository there you can last uh, search on a github itsp technology yellow gy okay not to say technology i e s i like that okay just search this name and got that repository and this is the public repository you can just clone this and run by using following last videos okay i think video number 3 is there okay part third this is the part fourth here we deploy one application what is that after that we deploy our rest api dockerize application and now this is our web application now what is that look like just i am showing some code here open okay just i am explaining something it's itsp controller inside the controller say hello only say hello message is there okay just i am writing some dummy code like returning uh, good evening good afternoon with the your names okay inside the browser like you are uh, saying this is the get mapping request you are just i will deploy this application and expose that port in our uh, aws machine then that using we can access so first we need one steps to clone this repository in our first step is first we need to uh, prepare our one machine so we go inside that uh, aws just i am login okay it will take uh, right today i will not prepare any notes okay just last notes you can follow if any important notes are there then i will share okay then i will uh, take a screenshot uh, attached with that to this class notes and these uh, notes you can also get it from where this group here you can just send me the request i will approve that request and you can get it easily all the notes will available at the study part right so now let's put it password is here login now it's login success after uh, done your practicals done your practice please remove the ec2 instance okay if it is free it's good but you should remove your ec2 instance wait it is loading okay load completed now go inside the ec2 and running instance is there any running instance i put it on filter i want to see the running instance Okay, just think. Is there no running instance? Any other instance? No instance. Just click on this button. Otherwise, you can click launch instance button. Just launch instance. Okay. Here, choose a machine. Just today, I will take a Linux, Amazon Linux. So here, you can take Linux, right? Linux and uh, choose Linux machine. Perfect. Amazon Linux twenty twenty three AMI, okay. And T two micro is sufficient. Just select the key pair Linux key pair. Uh, yesterday last sessions last session I have created key pair. 
how to create keep pair just click on this button here uh, rsa or like ad whatever you encrypted okay just created dot ppk file for the putty open ssh by using pom okay i need a pom it's okay now linux is good now just launch just it's simple to create a machine inside this now here just click on instance it's loading it's pending by using mobile extra we connect with this machine open moba okay uh, start local session not a local session i need a new session click on ssh copy that uh, ip of that just select this and here you can get that ip copy this ip and uh, we need to paste paste here and if you don't know the user how we can find the user inside the ec2 just uh, it's running states come click on connect now you can see that user here so now go back mm -hmm. ec2 to hyphen user if you putting any other name it will give errors to you just select your downloaded file linux 2 i have entered i think linux 2 let's see if it's wrong then it won't connect right it is wrong it's that's why it's not connected uh just take it one more time okay i think linux right ec2 hyphen user advance like this choose the linux is there inside the new folder i think linux is there mm -hmm. one new folder i think is there okay okay we're not there pump file we need to create a pump file wait okay let's do one thing instance it's running uh keep pair there any other option to do abc subnet i think that file i have deleted right so that's why that file i have deleted oh, this tag monitoring tailor i need to change a key pair okay. where i can change it's just i'm sure security option maybe launch wizard let's see is security group not here okay, <laughs> okay just delete this wait mm -hmm. go and uh, terminate this don't waste time so launch one more time launch it will uh, linux 2 linux 2 okay amazon machine this select i have selected na, this one but linux 2 is there in my system select linux 2 and it's fine good to go launch okay now just select on this it's pending okay select linux 2 copy same step don't worry paste it and ec2 select your uh poem poem, poem file just okay now it will try to connect why because it is still not running still that's why it's running now let's see it will connect wait okay it is not connecting why it is connection refuse let me try one more time okay as such copy this ip paste it and ec2 to hyphen user 
let this okay except now it's connected okay just increase some size okay clear now inside this i need to clone our project from the github so we need install a git how to install git inside this system sudo in the last session i have given all the command sudo install git <coughs> git sudo ym install git okay yes <coughs> And git is installed git you can check version it is there now we need to install maven or we need first install java here let's see java is there hyphen v not there <clears throat> so install install not install sudo <clears throat> by m install java 17 i think so this is the tag not tag okay let's check the tags which i have shared with you last class okay here somewhere we installed java my mm -hmm. project install docker right let's see This is running now. The installation may have been okay. I install Docker, Docker V, install Git, okay. Clone ls. Uh, where is installation of Docker? My Java command. See, put it Docker ps. We didn't install Java, but we installed in the Java, right? Okay, okay. just install my bin. Let's see. It will install when you install Maven also. Okay, it will install automatically. So, so Java, let's see. <coughs> sudo by m install Maven. Just click on this. Yes, install. Uh, the Maven, uh, Maven will install Java also. But I need, I want just for the security purpose, like it's installing Java 17, like Amazon. Okay, so let's see Java hyphen B. Okay, Java not how you can check Java version, right? Here you can check Java 17 is there, so not required to install Java again. So now we install a Maven, we install a Java, we install a GitHub. So now the all software is installed. Now Docker is also required. Let's see, Docker is there, Docker hyphen B, nothing. So just click on this what is that Docker sudo ym root is a sudo ym now install install what is the docker just click on this click on buy docker is installed success installing this is the beauty of linux operating system it's good to work with okay let's see java is there uh, docker is there docker hyphen b now docker is installed now for software we install just click or uh, clear this not required okay just i need to git clone git clone put our repository name what is that our repository inside this this is the our repository here you can see this is our docker file we prepare java 17 okay i need to build by using java 17 and target what is that our jar name is in Spring Boot application, all this thing come into the jar. What is the name name of copy? What is the name of copy? Target your application into container. Okay. Your location to container location. Last video I have clearly mentioned. What is the meaning of CMD? CMD means run your uh, run your this command run at a time of container running. Okay. Well, one thing is uh, there like run. Run command is also there. If you mention run command, run command will execute it at the time of 
at the time of building your image so inside the run so you can mention the docker like uh, uh, what is that uh, docker mm -hmm. uh, run my one package package if you want to package your application na, need a jar file so that time you can use it okay after that you can copy that perfect so now let's go and uh, go inside the repository take a copy clone and come here get clone shift insert enter now let's see ls hyphen l project is there spring boot is there here you can see web app is there so let's uh, okay dog cd spring boot ls hyphen l how much is there is there any target folder is there only this is there so we need to package our application so by using package of applications create a jar file so what is that command so mbn clean package just enter in the current directory you can hit this command so it will download all the jars let's see or the live practical release it will take 10, 10 to 5 minutes once you habituated with this it will easy okay now it's running test cases this is down it's building your image perfect it's downloading now build success let's see clear this okay oh no clear not a clean clear way clear okay so now let's see hyphen ls hyphen l let's see now one folder is coming target is there inside the target you can check cd target inside the target ls hyphen l let's see here the jar is there so when you build your image when you build your image so we need this jar right so what is that command we enter so in there that command you can mention inside this before that uh, copy your jar uh, your location to container location so you can run your moment package okay so now next thing is we need a okay so now cd come your current direct cd dot dot means your the current direct now now you are in the docker file directory so now i need to build this application so now we are following any naming convention right now so no if you are not following naming convention for the docker file like putting a randomly name so you just mention hyphen f and that file name so now what is that sudo okay docker sudo docker hyphen f okay otherwise build I need a build so docker hyphen sudo let's see is there any image we are need docker docker image is there any images right now it's uh, giving an error why because we are not put running your uh, docker so sudo system ctl status of docker let's see not found ctl status system okay system system ctl now it's you can see disabled it is disabled right now just you should sudo system ctl last class i have mentioned these commands also system ctl start docker now it's started not started okay okay system ctl sudo is wrong sudo now here okay sudo oh yeah sudo not sudo sudo now let's see now here you can check uh the status docker is running perfectly now if you want to check sudo sudo system ctl uh, status or you can use a running running then restart also now it's running perfectly now it's active active it's running so now just control press c exit clear now run docker build hyphen f or like hyphen t hyphen f file name what is that our file name docker let's see uh, see about the file name first ls hyphen l what is that file name docker okay 
So now Docker hyphen not a build out hyphen build hyphen yeah file name docker file and uh, tag name we need tag name like web app okay dot current directory let's see permission denied why because we need a sudo user only permission so it's sudo sudo now image is building now right now this image is building not running okay i will hit a run command that image will run okay now let's see clear this clear this so now docker ps oh no yeah sudo sudo docker ps right any running image is there no no so i need to you can see running container is there no just see sudo docker image images now one image is the name is web app latest tag is there image id is this 28 minute ago second sorry and size is 493 mb okay so now i need run this image inside the docker container so use sudo docker run hyphen uh, you can use a d for the detached mode it will not come the logs if you hyphen use d if you want to see the logs also, so you can use hyphen. Uh, don't use hyphen D. Just now I need to expose the port. So if you don't know that port also in your application, let's if you in that, uh, let's see, we, I mentioned any port here main inside that main and resources temp application at sympathy so means it is running on default port okay so now so we need a port so 404 i need to run my application what is the exposed port running application this is your this is your application port this is container port okay so now this is run and paste that image name okay shift insert and now hit enter let's see now your application is run let's say it's running perfectly which port is running tom card is started which port 808 okay perfect so now come here right now if you are uh, a machine your ip machine sorry machine uh, machine ipk this is the IP of machine so copy this and we expose the port 404 right hit enter is there any output is coming no it not come so we need to expose inside the security group click on this wait this is there so refresh one time inside the security okay security group inside the security group add it in bound rule and add rule custom ip okay and now 8080 okay now 4040 sorry delete or add rule custom ip 4040 perfect okay anywhere ip i can next save this and let's run this right now is there no just what is that say say slash name we wait enter no it is not coming you this is provide the secure connection okay so wait mm -hmm. okay some error is here you can see the logs are coming error parsing http request error will be logged debug okay some something is happening because not it's hitting your application is hitting something is wrong in your port okay 
HTTP. Yes, it is. Yes, say yes. Okay, now here you can see. Yep, I can how to increase the size of this. I don't know. Okay, this one. Okay, now here. Good afternoon, Vivek. Is there okay? What is that? Good afternoon. Is there right now? It uh, depends on our code which I have written that response is coming. Where your application is running inside the container application is running. Here you can see. Mm -hmm -hmm. Go inside this inside this now where our application is running guys where our application is running right now inside that application right now is in the, the aws and docker is running inside the aws inside the docker having our application and that docker running on this machine right so right i don't know what is the structure our application okay this is suppose okay this is our aws okay aws okay this is our docker okay docker our our, our, our application our application is running 808 port right 808 port but in aws aws we need to map this port Okay, so we need map this port to access this uh, URL. So you need to mention 404 here, right? Which you expose at the time of running. What is port we expose? 404 we expose, right? We run now. We run docker run hyphen p 4040 colon map with the 8080. So that port 404 be mapped with that our AC2 instance, AC2 machine. So that's it. Today's is completed part. If you want notes, I will share this also. Okay. So that notes, if I can see, uh, do one thing also here. Wait. Okay. Now it's perfectly. If you want to run control C, you can just press on control C. It will it is stopped right now. Let's see if the output is coming, not it will not come. Okay, why because you, you stop the container. So now clear this. Clear. Okay, so now I want to run this container as a detached detached mode. So we can perform other operation as well. So we use what is that a git not a git here sudo docker sudo docker hyphen d hyphen p port is 4040 colon map with the 808 our running application this and hy uh, shift insert i think so not this web app is there let's just enter okay something went wrong Okay, docker run is missing. We run missing. Trudo docker run. Run. Okay. Now it's running. Now let's change my name to ITSP. I had it. You can see ITSP is come. It means right now it's in the detached mode. It's running. So now I just uh, modify one thing here inside that our repository then the pom file go here and uh, one thing i need to edit what is that before this we need to package like that you can see here the last class in the docker file okay this is standalone application here uh, run mybin clean here you can see run your mybin clean just uh, run mybin clean right i need to specify this command on our application okay so now here also run mybin mbn clean package right 
Now same thing we mentioned, no? same thing. Package perfect. So now it's good to go. Let's commit this changes. Okay, same process I will do again. What is that? Now its application is running, but I would need to stop this. So now here you can see docker sudo docker ps hyphen a. The two apply two is running all stops. This is the previous containers. This is running container we are up status is up. Okay, so now I need to stop this container. Okay, so select this sudo docker stop container ID insert or you can uh, stop this is also existed but if you uh, stop a multiple container like that you can mention like stop it's stop it let's see sudo docker ps hyphen a now here both thing are existed but basically it is existed means it stopped this is the running like bye bye so now i want to remove that container also so how to remove the container guys anyone know anyone no so sudo sudo docker docker rm what is that image id just insert rm remove container id just shift insert copy this also shift insert now here you can see removed docker sudo docker ps let's see is there any container that is running not clear let the screen okay so now its image you can see docker ps sudo docker image sudo docker image images one image i want to remove this image so docker sudo docker rmi just click the id or the image also you can run it so remove just click on this unstaged let's see doc sudo docker ps or oh, sorry sudo docker rmi okay not rmi r what is that uh, docker docker i need to see na docker images is there any images so right now it's all thing is clean okay so one remind one command you can use what is that uh uh rudo system p run hyphen a think the sudo docker system p run hyphen a yes it will uh space the phone for two 42.51 MB is spaced. Clear. Sorry, yaar. clear. Actually, my screen is not visibly inside the meeting is showing. That's why. So now just we need to pull again. Git pull. Why? Because we commit some now. So git pull. Now here you can see something is changed now. Let's see the change is coming. CD. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. CD. You can see cat by using Docker. Here you can see run. We mentioned this. So just I need to build this. Docker. Sudo Docker is sudo. Docker hyphen. Okay, build not hyphen build hyphen uh, file name docker file uh, like uh, hyphen tag web app web app to dot. Let's see, it's building or not. If it's successfully built, means it find the jars. Okay, run. It's here. You can see the error run ambient clean package. Run Maven clean package. 
not found okay this is not working right so this is the meaning not founding okay inside that uh, run mbn so uh, we mention i think so full name right so we need a uh, mention full name like that we can mention guys like that we can mention it should be worked but maybe so i will uh, show this example in the next video with that uh, we uh, deploy one uh, rest api applications okay rest api application i will show this that time i will uh, remove this error okay so thank you thank you we will meet next video these notes also i will share in my group facebook group is there uh what is that group name after that uh practical is completed guys just remove your machines okay which your machine is there just click on that machine okay and uh, running is there inside this select this and just select on terminate it will terminate automatically okay it will show if the set down state it will show here state but don't worry it will automatically remove some after some time so thank you thank you we will meet next video thanks